there are some reports that David De Gea <laughs> could be coming back to Manchester United. It's a move they may be considering if Andre Onana is to go and play for Cameroon in the Africa Cup of Nations. Yeah, l listen, it, it makes sense in that David De Gea, you know he, uh, the quality that he brings. He knows this club, he knows this expectation. So, well, all other things being even, it, it makes sense. But the fact that he's coming back to Manchester United and given everything around his the contract negotiations and, and regardless of, of whose side you, you see this from, whether De Gea was asking for too much money or Manchester United took back an offer after he signed it, whatever the story is, this just kind of sums Manchester United up. Uh, in, 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 in so many ways that a player, whatever happened, and, and whoever you, you put the blame on um, as to how that unraveled last May, that all of a sudden you've come full circle six, six months later. later. That, it, it just sums up United. So, listen, it's a, it's a by all accounts, a short-term fix, and one purely from a playing perspective makes sense. So it would be a fix? A, well, it, it's a fix. I, I, we'll see exactly... Um, Again, and, and I think how De Gea settles in will reflect what happened behind the scenes, what happened behind closed doors that, that we may not know of. Um, but he's a good goalkeeper, he's available for free, so from that perspective, it, it makes sense. How's it, but how does it affect? Here, here we have a goalkeeper that, that struggled at the end of last season. If we, by the time we get to the new year, uh, will not have played for six months. I presume he's, and he's certainly not down at Carrington training. Well, I think it's been well documented that he has been keeping himself fit in the meantime, though, and he's... But he's oh, yeah, I mean, we can all, I'll tell you yeah, what, we well, can all, we can all <laughs> go down the gym and chuck a medicine right. ball around. Right. But that's not goalkeeping, is it? No. I mean, keeping yourself fit is, like... Well, well, that's a very generic comment. I mean, we're talking about... The goalkeepers have goalkeeping coaches, specific coaches for a reason. Goalkeeper coach, they go over there, the big... The big daft goalie's over in the corner, yeah. Shaq. Oh. And they get <laughs> goalkeeper-specific... Training, right? So he's had six months and a poor end to the season to come back in as the fix. And then there's the other side of it. And maybe this is just bitter old me. But Man United didn't do him any favours nope. when he was looking for the new contract. So why would I be in a rush to come back in and help a club and a manager that was looking to go in a different direction? So he's, he's kind of... See, to me, he's stuck in the middle because... Well, he's a I'm sure he's stuck in the he, he talked sure. himself round in circles today when I, I said to him. Well, because your first inclination, a man you need to call you out if you're the hair, is, well, you know what you can do. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> your first inclination. Correct. Yeah, sunshine and all that. Yeah. We get it. But then, <laughs> but then, if, in some ways, it's, he's putting himself in a short window. Mm. So do you. Cut your nose off despite your face and feel better at telling them where to go, or do you actually give yourself a chance of getting a contract somewhere else? Why is David that's, De Gea that's... not got a club anyway? Is David De Gea Nobody just knows. pricing himself out of everybody's window? Or. Nobody I knows. mean, that's a concern, is it not? Or maybe come but... back for a month, have a blinding month, and then put yourself back in everybody's. Maybe he is, and, and again, I, I don't know, maybe he is just pricing himself out of everybody because he sees himself as, as, as this is his value, this is what he brings as a goalkeeper and, and needs to be compensated accordingly. Right. So he's he, more he's, like, po he's probably that. wealthy enough right. to say, well, you know what, if you don't match my own valuation of, of, of my talents, then I'll just continue doing, but doing as I'm doing. But you're right, Shaq, this, is, this just says... It just, it's just my this, this says Man United under the Glazers, particularly the last 10 years... I mean, uh, where's Vout Vekost? I mean, he's coming back, isn't he? We as know a he's goalie. Coming. In goal. Might as well bring him back as a goalie. <laughs> I mean, it's just, yeah. Who, who knows? Uh, who knows? I mean, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> There's so many things with Man United. Who is the number two? I don't even know who the number two oh, is. Nalan went, down, went because... down for treatment a couple of games ago, and I, I can't remember the guy's name. It's warming up, and I have, I have Bayern no Dia. idea. No idea yeah. who he was. Because we've been talking it's about Man United in so it's many... It's Altai other... Bayern Dia, and then you've got Tom Heaton as well. Yeah, Tom Heaton, but we've been talking about so many other Man United's other problems, as well as the goalkeeper. We don't even say, oh, they've got a ready-made number two, but... I don't think clearly they have, so no. anyway.